EPA and WA meteorologist Bobby Martins here with your outlook for September 15th, 2021. Wednesday's video forecast is sponsored by the Walters and Zerinsky team at Keller Williams Real Estate. Uh, Michael and Sarah have been helping buyers and sellers with all of the real estate needs throughout the Lehigh Valley and Poconos region for with, with over 20 years of experience in real estate. They not only serve the Lehigh Valley, but also portions of Berks, Bucks, Carbon, Monroe, and Schuylkill counties. Reach out to the Walters Zerinsky team at Keller Williams Real Estate to get your up-to-the-minute local real estate forecast on inventory, market conditions, current rates, and pricing. And they can be reached at 610-867-8888. Proudly sponsoring the Wednesday forecast video now for the third consecutive week. So we have uh, a cold front moving toward the region today, okay? And this cold front is going to be kind of slow to work its way eastward. So we're going to have partly cloudy skies to start today, all right? There is a severe threat today. I'll outline where those areas are. It's not going to be the entire area. Uh, but the uh, cold front is going to be moving eastward, and the, the showers and thunderstorms are going to break out ahead of it. But you're going to have a lot of... Uh, you know, partly cloudy skies out in front of it. You're not gonna. It's not gonna be like uh, you know, mostly cloudy and then lady, you know, lingering clouds all afternoon type thing. Uh, here is the uh, European models and move those forward. You can see that front very slowly moving eastward. This is looking at uh, this is looking at uh, 8 p.m. So it's awfully slow. Now, one of the models that are a little bit faster than that is the H H R R R High Resolution Rapid Refresh. Uh, this is looking at uh, starting this off at uh, at 2 p.m. and moving it forward. You can see some activity. Uh, it's a li it mo mostly in linear mode here. So when we get a linear mode convection, when it gets into a straight line like that, it's it's typically a wind threat. Okay, it's not. Uh, there's a non-zero chance for a tornado today, but I think that's your your threat for that is going to be up in New England where the better forcing is. The best the, the thermal di thermal dynamic environment here today is going to be supportive of. Uh, multicellular clusters or line segments, uh, quasi-linear convective system type stuff here. So this is going to be along a cold front and a congealed line, which will give you a wind threat. That's our primary severe mode today, primary severe threat today. Uh, it also could be a little bit of heavy rain with some of these storms if they end up hitting one after another in the same area. But given the slow nature of the front, that is not out of the question. And actually, this, the Weather Prediction Center actually does hint at that for out here in central Pennsylvania, especially, and heading up into northeast PA. So as this moves forward, this is 4 p.m., keep, keep going forward here, and then here's where we get to 6. See, it hasn't really moved too much, but you see some training cells over the same areas. And this is going to be a concern for that heavy rain in those regions right here. That's going to go from maybe just west of the, we'll say the lower Susquehanna Valley, all the way up through northeast PA. And any of these cells here, and since it's in linear mode, could produce damaging wind gusts. What do I mean by that? We could have some wind gusts that are 45 to 60, maybe even higher than that uh, in, in localized cases. Um, not going to be a widespread thing, but there are certainly uh, chances for uh, severe wind with this. Now, this is looking at 8, 8 p.m. It finally starts working eastward, and it's dying out. It's not as strong or as potent as it was before. And once we hit... Uh, once we hit sunset, I think you're going to really start to see these ramp down a little bit. These are mostly instability-driven, and that means the sun is going to play a big role in that. That's to increase that instability. A lot of a lot of high humidity, high dew point environment will contribute to that. And then as it moves eastward here, this kind of just collapses. We do have a few showers that are going to continue overnight, and maybe a garden variety thunderstorm at that point. But it looks like we're going to be ramping down rather quickly as far as the severe aspect of these storms once we reach sunset here is the storm prediction center's outlook today i am very much in agreement with this this is was this is the day two outlook because i don't have the updated uh, day one outlook yet at the time this video was recorded which is of course late evening and this is this outlook here for the slight risk area i think is is pretty much spot on okay might be extended a little bit too far east here and maybe not quite getting to the lehigh valley uh you know i'm fine with that i'm fine with where they have that there uh, I'm not going to uh, pick apart or micromanage something like this. I think it's a pretty good outline of where the severe threat is and highlights the best areas for severe weather, and that would be in severe wind, okay? Uh, taking a look at a sounding here, just to dissect this, this is looking out of uh, the scranton Wilkesbury area, and this is looking at, uh, this is 5 p.m., okay? So this is the evening, this is the prime time for those storms. By the way, the time frame here we're looking at, if you want to give a time frame for the best chance, we're looking at maybe a 2 to 8 window here for severe but keep in mind that after 8 p.m., they're going to start ramping down. They might be approaching severe as they head toward the Lehigh Valley. I don't know about getting, maintaining severe levels 
but we'll see. It's going to be awfully close. And then the further southeast with time as it, as it goes, it's just going to deter a transition to garden variety storms, and that's it. Still could be strong, but as far as severe, the definition of severe being 58 miles per hour or greater wind speed or one inch or larger hail. Uh, to meet that criteria, I think it's going to have to be a little bit earlier before sunset. So this is a very good classic sounding here looking for um, looking for severe wind. This is a severe wind sounding, very good lapse rates uh, in the low end and even the mid-levels. Uh, and uh, high precipital water content, which means you're going to have a lot of heavy rain, especially in the tra in the uh, training storms. Instability is plenty sufficient to support severe thunderstorms. And uh, same thing with shear. Shear is plenty sufficient to keep these storms moving and uh, not just sitting over one area. If you're going to get heavy rain or any flooding issues today, it's going to be because you had one after another, not because one storm sat there over one area. Uh, but one thing that's very interesting on the sounding I wanted to point out, these are the wind barbs going all the way up in the atmosphere. Notice they're all coming out of the same direction. This isn't, and they are all parallel to the front. What that means is uh, you're probably going to go from literally sun to incoming storms. You might have some pretty good shelf uh, shelf cloud pictures today as those storms come in because you're going to have sun right up until the point where the storms, the line of storms comes in, because of that uh, wind direction being very aligning itself parallel to the front direction, which is also in that same southwest and northeast fashion. So since the winds are aligned with the front, parallel to the front, we should have that right from sun, go right to shelf cloud, and then thunderstorm today. So it should be some pretty photogenic uh, photo opportunities today for those of you there that are interested in that kind of thing. But again, uh, once you get the pictures before the storm rolls in, get inside because you're going to have some uh, severe winds to deal with in, in many cases. Now, I wanted to outline an area where I thought the best chance would be, and I'll do that here. I think your best chance, to, I, I, again, I'm not too far off the, what the Storm Prediction Center has. I think this area right in here is probably your best chance, okay? Now, this does extend up further this way too, but that's out of our area. I'm just concentrating on our area. This is the best chances to see severe are going to be right within that area right there. Uh, and I and I think it's uh, as you get further east of that line here, you notice I didn't circle the Lehigh Valley in that. I think once it gets there, previously severe storms or pretty strong storms are going to start to weaken on approach there. Uh, it's going to be awfully close. So again, I don't I don't fault the Storm Prediction Center for taking it all the way to Allentown. Uh, it's going to be awfully close. Same thing with Northwest New Jersey. Does it get that far? Maybe, but it's going to be it's going to be uh, kind of in ramp down mode at that point. So there's your severe threat for today. After this, this uh, front is going to get hung up a little bit here on Thursday. So there could be some afternoon showers uh, associated with that. I want to get over back over the NAM here. The reason why I didn't use the NAM in the video, by the way, is because it's very slow, very, very slow with this front. So you get the 8 o'clock, it's just, I mean, this is uh, very, very slow. The HR already has stuff all the way to Lancaster and Lehigh, and this is all the way down here. It doesn't even get in there until almost midnight. And I think that's wrong, and most uh, other models are saying that it's going to be faster like the high resolution wrapper refresh has it. Once we get to Thursday, though, here on the NAM, here you can see those scattered showers. Uh, not a lot, not a lot of activity, but there are some scattered showers here in the afternoon. And then we're going to have more scattered showers here on Friday uh, as an offshore low is going to be moving by. And I'll show you that here. Here's, here's Thursday where that front gets hung up and it's going to dissipate over the region. And then this offshore low right near the Carolinas is going to move northeastward very slowly. So it's going to have some wraparound moisture with it here on Friday. Doesn't show much here in the global models, but you saw here on the NAM, it does have those scattered showers there. So we'll keep an eye on that. Doesn't look like a ton of precipitation, but it's enough to be a nuisance and it's going to keep it mostly cloudy or overcast both Thursday and Friday. Temperatures back in the 70s again, as you can see here, uh, it's 76. I have the sun icon. I really don't have a different icon here for just straight showers. It's not going to rain all day, but, um, you know, 76 to 80 is a spread of temperatures on Thursday. It's going to be probably very similar here on Friday, too, with plenty of clouds to deal with. After that uh, exits, this low is still going to be off to the east here uh, on Saturday. Let me get to the right image here. Hold on, I'm the wrong entirely. There we go. So we get to Saturday, there could be an isolated thunderstorm wrapping around this until it fully exits, but I think uh, most of the day is going to be dry here on Saturday. Uh, Sunday looks like a mostly sunny skies day, and same thing here with uh, Monday. Tuesday, we'll go back to uh, uh, partly to mostly sunny here with high pressure nosing in from the northeast. So it looks like we have a couple dry days that we're going to have at least for the second half of the weekend onward. Again, Saturday doesn't look too bad right now. Just isolated thunderstorm in a few spots, and that's it. We're going to get past today's severe threat, hopefully uh, with uh, minimal severe reports. We had a few yesterday, a couple days ago with that uh, 
late night storm this again a traditional time frame more traditional two to eight or maybe like three to nine kind of like that kind of window which is uh, what you would normally expect for severe thunderstorms uh, time frame so none of this nocturnal nocturnal stuff we're done with that i'm epa wa meteorologist bobby marchers that is your outlook for september 15th 2021 have a great wednesday